Making your 2018 your absolute best year, putting everything in place so you will have the life you really, really, truly want and have always desired. So, this is our 22nd video, and I want to say congratulations because you have entered into the good habit zone, okay? So, after 21 to 28 days is when we start to get into the groove when we're creating new habits. And after that, we kind of remember to do things. We always have to stay on top of it. But between 21 and 28 days is when we kind of jumpstart our brain, and our brain kind of thinks that it's automatic that that action that we're doing or that thought that we're thinking should be part of our routine. Now, as I said before, we always have to stay on top of it though and watch ourselves because we could have some negative things in our subconscious which are trying to, you know, sabotage us. And as I'm writing in my new book, The Matrix of Pain, there are other programmings that are in action that, you know, are very complex and we should always stay on top of us to make sure we're honed in on what we truly want, not what we think we should have, but what we really truly want and we're going to get it. So we're going into the 22nd day and congratulations to you. Thank you for all the messages that people have been writing me saying that they're feeling more energized and they're staying on track. Just knowing that we're counting the days and putting in all that extra effort to make sure that everything's working like we want it to. So I want you to remember to always watch your habits and make sure you do them for at least 28 days. Then you get into the groove and then and you still have to watch yourself but it's a lot easier so if it's difficult in the beginning know that it's going to get easier and if you've just started here remember starting new habits is often just difficult in the beginning in my fibromyalgia based wellness training program I ask people to do exercise every day there's 20 minutes of walking every day now with people who have fibromyalgia I ask them to start with three minutes a day I started walking with three minutes a day because I was so weak I couldn't even stand up so therefore, when I started walking, I would hold on to the buildings and, I, and I'd go really, really slowly because I didn't have any energy and I could barely walk and I was all hunched over. And I would walk on the buildings and I'd hold, hold, hold on to the buildings. And I started out with three minutes and then I went to three and a half minutes and four minutes. And, and slowly but surely, my body did get stronger. And when I explain this in my DVD program for people with fibromyalgia, a lot of times people say, well, what is three minutes? Three minutes is nothing, it's not It's not really helping my body. And I tell them at this point in the beginning, yes, it is helping your body, but most of all, what we're doing is we're training your brain. You're training your brain to work for you. You're training your brain to have good, positive habits for you. You're training your brain to work in incremental steps. So therefore, we're training our brain also for patience. We're training our brain for perseverance. We're training our brain for everything. And we're creating a habit that you will keep for the rest of your life because wellness and physical activity is something we should all do for the rest of our lives. I don't know about you, but I want to grow old really gracefully and I want to be one of those strong old ladies at 80, you know? So in the meantime, keep up those good habits, start some new ones, be proud of yourself, congratulate yourself, live your life, love your life, and love you. And I'll see you tomorrow.